Okay, I've written out the whole problem with all the information you're given here, okay? So, always get a good diagram, okay? See, I've drawn a nice clear diagram. And secondly, always get all the information they give you on the question down on the sheet in front of you, okay? So everything you're told, I've written here and here, okay? A good diagram is really important. Okay, so X is the midpoint of AC, O to A is A, O to C is C, and X to D is 3C minus a half A, okay? We don't know exactly where D is here, doesn't really matter as long as it's something like that on the diagram. <clears throat> okay, we're told that the ratio of O to C to C to D is K to one. We have to find K. Okay, it's not immediately obvious how to go about this, okay? So the worst thing you can do is sort of sit back staring at it not knowing what to do, okay? With tricky questions like this, where it's, it might not be obvious what to do immediately, you've, you've got to put pen to paper and just do something, okay? Get into the question, even if you don't know where you're going, okay? It doesn't matter. When you get into it and you do something, it, the, the path to the answer usually just reveals itself, okay? So let's just do something, okay? Now, it's talking about this line here, O to C and C to D, okay? So I sense it's something to do with this line, okay? I don't know what yet. So what I'm gonna do is work out the vector for O to D. I don't know if that's gonna help, but like I say, you've gotta do something, okay? So let's work out O D, okay? Right. Well, we know X to D, we've been told that. So if we can go from O to X, we can get O to D. So O to D is equal to O to X and then X to D. Okay? Right, so we just need to find O to X. Okay? So what is O to X? And again, at this point, I don't really know where this is going. This is a tricky question. I'm just doing something, okay? That's really important. And you will, even if you don't get the answer, you will get some marks for trying something. Okay, so O to X. Well, O to X is O to A plus A to X, okay? So that's O to A plus A to X, okay? Right, well O to A is A, so now we just need A to X. Well, we're told that X is the midpoint of AC. So that means A to X is half of A to C. Okay, so therefore O to X is equal to O to A plus A to X is half of A to C, half of A to C. Okay, and A to C, we can do that because you go along there and along there and we know both of those. Okay, good. A to C is, you go from A to O, and then O to C, okay? So A to C is equal to, A to O is minus O to A, and O to A is A. So that's 
A to O is minus A, so you go there, and then O to C, which is C, okay? And that's just the same as, I, I, was, mm, I was gonna write it as C minus A, but I'll just leave it as is, it's fine, okay? So, that's, we've got A to C, right? So therefore, O to X is O to A, which is A, okay? Plus a half of A to C, which is minus A plus C. Okay, so therefore, O to X is a plus a minus half a plus a half c. So therefore, o to x is a minus half a is half a plus a half c. Okay. Okay. Good. We've got. We know how to go from o to x now. We've got it in terms of things we would we, we definitely know. We were told A, we, we have to work with A and C, that's what we know. So we've got O and X in terms of A and C. Good, so we've got O to X, we know X to D, we were told it, so therefore we know O to D, okay? So O to D is O to X, which is that, half A plus half C, plus X to D. The X to D is that, 3C minus a half A. Good, so O to D is Right, half A minus a half A, okay, gone. Three C plus a half C, three and a half C. Okay, let's take a breath. We found O to D. Now bear in mind, I still don't really know where this is going. I just had to, you, you've got to, do something, okay? It's really important to get used to being able to start difficult questions without knowing where they're going, okay? That's a really important skill in maths. You don't necessarily need to immediately see how to get to the answer when you look at the question, okay? It's perfectly normal to start it, start doing something, and then, oh look, that's where it's going, halfway through, okay? So, has this happened here? Right, we tried something, and we've got the vector O to D, it's three and a half C, O to D. Okay, is that useful? Well, look at this. We're told the ratio of O to C to C to D is K to one. And we found O to D which means because we know O to C, it's length C, and we know the whole thing, we therefore know the length C to D. So we've done it. We can now easily work out the length C to D because we've done this. We know O to C. So we know the ratio of O to C to C to D. So we know that. So we've won, you see? I didn't know that that was going to happen at, at the beginning of this question when I started this. I knew it was something to do with the line O to D, but I didn't see exactly what was going to happen, okay? It turns out that the A's cancelled, so we're just left with C's. You know, I didn't know that was going to happen. And this is a good example, like I say, of you must be able to start a question not necessarily knowing where it's going, okay? Okay. So. Let's finish the question off. O to D is three and a half C. 
O to D is three and a half C, that's one C, so therefore C to D, okay, that must be two and a half C, okay? O to D, the whole thing is three and a half, O to C is one C, so that must be two and a half C. Great, so therefore, O to C, to C to D is, O to C is C, C to D is two and a half C, okay? So that's one to two and a half, one to two and a half. Now, we have to turn C to D side into one, okay? So I'll firstly write that as one to five over two, okay? I've got to turn this into one and keep the ratio the same. So to do that, if we multiply both sides by two fifths, okay? So multiply that by two fifths, multiply that side by two fifths, and we get two fifths times one is two fifths. Five over two times two over five is one, okay? Because ratios, like fractions, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other, okay? So, there we go. O to C to C to D is two-fifths to one. So therefore, K is two-fifths. So, I know I keep banging on about it, but it's really important. With difficult questions like this, okay, you need to be able to start them without knowing how you're going to get the answer, okay? Very important skill. There you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and it would be a massive help if you could subscribe. It would also be amazing if you could support me on Patreon. All the papers and everything are on my website, drgem.com and I'm also on social media. Thank you.